Uh, my name is Rochelle Minnell, and if my name wasn't awesome enough as it is, considering it rhymes, uh, my alias, my skate name, is Enya Dreams. About three years ago, I moved up to Sacramento from Monterey um, by myself, uh, that being that my family moved to the East Coast and I wanted to stay in California, so I had the opportunity to move in with a girlfriend of mine that I've been working with down in Monterey. But <laughs> about six months into me living here, um, not only did my roommate and I have a falling out, but I also lost my job. Um, the best part about that was I knew nobody in Sacramento. Um, so for the last six months of our lease together, I did not speak to her and I didn't know anybody. It was a very dark time for me. I, I didn't really know I didn't really know what to do, honestly. Um, so, I went to the movies. I went and saw Whip It. Um, it's a roller derby film. I didn't even make the connection that there was a possibility that I could do that because I mean, the film's based in Texas and it didn't even register with me that there could possibly be a team in Sacramento. Um, when I got my new job, one of the girls that I ended up working with, she handed me a roller derby trial flyer for Sacred City. And immediately I was like, are you serious? Is this, is this really like the real deal, you know? Um, and uh, I went to tryouts. I had, I didn't have any gear whatsoever. I used loner gear at the warehouse. It was definitely, Kind of scary, a little nerve-wracking, um, but uh, they accepted me and I started the Fresh Meat training program, which was pretty intensive. It was three hours, three times a week. It was uh, not exactly what I wanted to do after uh, working all day, was go to a warehouse in the cold and get yelled at and fall down a lot. Um, but luckily I had um, girls that I would carpool with to practice and days when I really didn't want to go and I seriously considered texting them, they would text me first and tell me, hey, I'm picking you up in 15 minutes, you ready to go? And sure enough, I'd grab all my gear and put all my stuff on and be out the door and ready, ready to rock, you know? The program lasts for seven weeks. Um, and at the end of that, I went in and talked to my coach and told her that I wasn't quite ready to skate with the big girls yet. Um, I didn't really feel like I had the game down. I still had a lot of confidence issues. Um, but so we agreed that I would go through the program again. And at the end of that, I felt ready. And uh, I went with a bunch of other girls to this sort of informal little scrimmage up in Reno and afterwards we stayed with um, one of the Reno girls offered up her house and so we all stayed there and it was like a huge sleepover like we stayed up till 4 a.m. that night just talking and you know that's when I kind of introduced my name um, to a couple of my close friends and to my coach and my coach kind of like thought about it for a minute. She was like, hmm, Enya, I like that. And I don't know, to me that was kind of cool because I've been working so hard and now I have this name, you know, and I just felt like that was the deciding factor for me. I was like, yeah, I did it, you know. Um, and then shortly after that, I made roster and was road tripping down to LA. Uh, I definitely had my doubts going into it. It was a little intimidating and definitely daunting, but I went for it and I do not regret it. Um, I am now very involved with the league. Um, I have a derby wife um, who is basically, uh, derby wife is, if I could sum it up, would be like your best friend, I guess, on the team, someone who keeps you on track 
literally on the track. And of course I have a bunch of Derby sisters who I can call or whatever for anything, whether it be skating related with the league, whether it be something personal. It's not your blood family, but it's definitely a close sisterhood, so.